Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Welcome back once again to the channel. You know it is JJ with you on JJ's PC Builds. And don't forget, if it's your first time here, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. Because if you don't, what will happen is, is YouTube will never put us out there. And you guys know the song and dance because of the algorithm and, you know, they're not being nice and everything else. But you can do us a favor and hit that subscribe and like button. Positive like, that is. And don't forget about the notification bell as well. Well, today we're going to be talking about the AMD Ryzen 7 9800X3D and the AM5 motherboard socket burns out both physically damaged. Maybe. There's many, there's a lot of stories going on right now about it. There's like nine different people that's having nine different problems. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the action on the screen. I finally got it working, by the way. Ugh. Windows is kind of changing everything upside down on us. So, but we're trying to work around it and trying to get everything going. So let's go ahead and go and see what I got cooking. Glad y'all stuck with me. Now we made it onto the action screen. Let's explore and see what's cooking. And it looks like that ASRock releases a new BIOS version to mitigate the AMD's Ryzen 7 9800X 3D CPU failure issues. Root cause is rumored to be with memory optimization. So let's roll down and see what we get. ASRock has released a new BIOS update to address the growing problem with the 9800X3D. The failure issue is potentially solving the problem with those CPUs that are still alive. So ASRock responds to the AMD issue. CPU crashes quickly by releasing a new BIOS update, potentially sorting out the issue. I know I switched it around, so. But it looks like that the first batch of mitigation AMD uh, 9800X3D failure issues has finally arrived. We know this is coming sooner or later. Out of the motherboard manufacturers, out of all motherboard manufacturers, ASRock has responded quickly to the community, releasing a new BIOS update for its affected units. However, in the firm blog post, they do state that the BIOS version is targeted towards fixing expected boot issues and error codes but it doesn't mention CPU failure at all. Suggested that ASRock isn't taking the blame on DOA incident. So basically dead on arrival. This is what they said. ASRock, a global leader in motherboards, graphics cards, mini PCs, power supplies, and gaming monitors have observed the reports on Reddit from users experiencing unexpectedly boot issues and error codes when using ASRock AM5 motherboards paired with minority proportion of AMD Ryzen 9000 series processors. To enhance users experience, to enhance users experience, well, it doesn't really do you much. It doesn't talk about fixing the problem. ASRock promptly re released the latest 3.20 beta BIOS for its AM5 series motherboard. Further improving AMD's Ryzen 9000 series processors boot issue. Does it really fix it? I'm hearing it doesn't. For those still unaware, we reported yesterday the number of Redditors experiencing abrupt crashes and failures with the AMD 9800X3D CPUs. Some see, some, some see it as they boot up the system for the first time, while others getting the crashes after days and weeks of use. 
suggesting that the problem can occur at any time. Another important point to note that here is the issue. Isn't specific, we know that, to just one motherboard vendor. So guys, don't blame on just ASRock. There's, there's many mo motherboard vendors having the same issue. But I, I think um, ASUS is working on theirs and they're gonna have theirs fixed within a matter of days or so, from what I'm hearing. So, now, if you're affected by it and you got a 9800X3D, some people are saying to roll back the, the, um, the BIOS updates, go back to BIOS updates, to where it's stable and just temporarily run off of that until um, they get the issue fixed. So this way you don't burn up your CPU, you know. So it's gonna catch fire, you know, if you guys, you know, keep pushing it. Some people are saying they can roll it back and they can actually, um, it actually kind of temporarily fixes the issue, but if you don't have the issue, then I would not update your BIOS just yet. I would wait until, until you hear confirmation that this has been resolved with an actual final update. So right now, if you're not having a problem, then don't update your BIOS just yet. It's not really going to be necessary anyway, especially if you're playing your games and you're happy with it. So, I mean, you don't want to lose a $600 CPU. I mean, but from what I'm hearing from other reviewers, they're saying roll it back a couple, to roll it back, the BIOS back a couple uh, updates and see if that mitigates, you know, that fixes your issue. I myself can't tell you if it does or doesn't because I'm not, I don't have that in my possession to give you that definite answer. But from what I'm hearing from other reviewers, they're saying to roll it back a couple, couple BIOS updates and go from there. If I get more information, I'll make sure I tell you guys and let you know what's going on. I'll know by probably on the live stream Saturday, which I'll be doing it at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and that's 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Final thoughts. I'm gonna let you know my final thoughts right here. They're not having the problems with the X series. It seems like it's only the 9800X3D that's affected. But if I do hear more, if there's more reports going on that other CPUs are being affected, I'll definitely let you know. But for right now, all you can do is, if you haven't updated your BIOS yet and you're running fine with the 9800X3D, I would just leave it right there until said time, until you got concrete answers on if it's fixed or not. But if I find out if it's fixed or not, I will let you know, and I'll definitely get that information out there. But right now I don't have all the information. I'm just getting rumors and leaks at this point. So, but this is from nine different people on Reddit saying they're having this issue. I do read Reddit too, you know, so. But all I can tell you, if you're not having a problem right now, then don't update your BIOS. Don't do it. Wait until they come up with the fix and then you can move, proceed forward. That's the best I can tell you right now. Sit tight. This way you don't lose your motherboard or you lose your CPU and you don't lose your um, system RAM. Because if it is affecting the system RAM, then this could be the reason. 
But anyway, guys, I'm just putting this out here really quick video for you guys. I just wanted to let you know that, you know, some people are claiming that the 9800X3D is kind of going up in smoke. But from what I'm hearing that a lot of people like seven out of nine are able to get the fix. And don't forget your drinking snacks, by the way. Most of them were able to get it fixed. So let's hope this is a fixable issue, which it sounds like to me, it's a fixable issue. So don't get scared and don't get worried and don't feel like somebody's going to fear monger you about your CPU that it's going to burn up and die and everything else. It's not. So if they can fix it with a BIOS update, then it's something something that can be fixed by the motherboard manufacturer. But if you're stuck in a boat to where you can't, let's say, let's say you're stuck to where you can't get the update because you don't have a computer, then it might be good to maybe if you have a backup CPU, might be able to switch out the CPU as it doesn't seem to be affecting the motherboard. It seems that the, the BIOS for the 9800X3D is the only thing that's affected, but the X processors are not affected or anything else. I'm also hearing too that they, they switched the 9800X3D out for an X processor and they don't have that issue on the motherboard. So it's just basically narrowed down to an Agiza issue with the motherboard manufacturers and they're working on it to get it fixed. So if you want to get your uh, 9800X3D up and running, follow the motherboard manufacturer and follow the news to find out which BIOS you can roll back to that's going to be safe to run your 9800X3D. My advice, if you're stuck in that boat and you got an extra processor, then I would put the other processor in, get your BIOS fixed, and then put your 9800X3D back in there. So that way you can keep rocking along. That's just my advice to you. But anyway, if this is your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button. And don't forget about the notification bell so you know when to post the next video. And until then, next time and the next video, you know it is, and we'll see you on the next one.